Hi, you probably heard me mention I'm doing some work on the house at the moment. This is the guest bathroom, which is one of the refurbs that I'm doing at the moment. Uh, but I'm also step by step sort of rewiring the house because there's quite a lot of it that's old. And there are quite a few faults on some of the circuits I've noticed when I've done some of the testing at the old fuse board. So while the floor is up, this does form kind of a major path through to another part of the house where the fuse board actually is. Uh, so I've ran a load of new cables to that point. However, underneath here is the kitchen. And uh, now that the floor's up, I can fix one of the faults in the kitchen where the ring final is broken. And they did a kind of bodge repair to get it working so that uh, the circuit wasn't unsafe, but I would like to fix the problem. And uh, the floor here was uh, firstly completely covered in rubble, like it was about six inches deep in all of the offcuts and everything from whenever they did the bathroom before we moved in. Uh, so I've now managed to clear all of that out. And we've got quite a few wires running through here, which don't necessarily quite make sense because there's been quite a few repairs, as I said, and there were a whole mass of junction boxes and all that kind of stuff under this floor that were completely inaccessible. So sorting all that out now, but my wife and kids are in the house and they're entirely dependent on electricity for their smart devices and everything. So I need to identify some of the circuits and how they run. And uh, I've got quite a neat method, which might be interesting for some of you to see how we can actually detect what circuits are doing what. So my weapon of choice is actually just a thermal camera and you don't need a huge amount of load to just increase the temperature of these cables very slightly and that is identifiable with the thermal camera. So all I've done is I've plugged in the kettle. You can see there's a bundle of cables that go down there and I think the brake is in one of those legs. And if we use the thermal camera, we can actually see one of those is a bit warmer than the rest. And that is the one that's actually still feeding that socket properly and we can quite easily see this one just here is easily identifiable as the part of the leg that is working just fine. And you can see it running along under the floor here and you can see the exact path it takes and then it goes off into the corner where it goes into another part of the house. So quick tip there, if you can't turn off the power and you don't have a fuse finder, a thermal camera is a nice easy way and a nice safe way of checking where the cable run actually is. So I hope you found the video useful. Until next time, thanks for watching.